so yeah what's going on guys it's me Tezdios and uh, today I'm giving you another tutorial and it's going to be on uh, Cinema 4D and it's going to be on making crap text or crap logo as I found a different and more like, effective method um, compared to my own one so if I go on uh, here as you can see like the Tez logo is slightly cracked you know I didn't do it too much and plus the effects in CC uh, gives it that uh, look uh, yeah it doesn't you can't really see the crap but you can still see elements of it for example here 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 like see so you can see it um, but yeah so today I'm going to show you how to create something similar to that uh, crack text or crack logo so first you want to get the AI so I'm going to file is it large and just find the uh, um, AI file so that's that uh, logo there okay so the first thing uh, what you can see is that it's pretty flat you know I need some more depth into it and you can do that so uh, go and we can see this null here. Um, just you know, open it out a bit more, and uh, it's already been extruded. That's good. So um, once you've extruded it, so if you want to extrude it, you want to go here, go extrude nerves, grab your logo, or whatever, uh, and then so this this uh, spline here, you just drag it and drop it on top, and that makes it extruded. And you want to do that for whatever's inside this null folder for this kind of thing um, so once you've got the extruded nerves on your spline, spline or whatever it is you um, want to make the uh, depth of it into about 200 or maybe 300 depends on what you how big you want it I'm going to go for 200 and hopefully the render won't take that long uh, so I'm going to put it on 200 here, 200 there, and yeah, so um, for mine, for some reason my logo has gone a bit deformed, so it's the orientation is gone, so if you want to fix that up, select the, you know, select that one, that's the one, that's this piece, I'm going to click the screen out and I'm going to move it back, right like that. Uh, so I'm going to go on the side I'm going to drag this blue one back I'm going to try and get it perfect yeah that's a good one uh, like so uh, yeah, there. That is oh, that's okay. Hey, no, no, okay. I can't run. Okay, that is perfect. Okay, I'm not doing that no more. Yeah, um. So once you've made it uh, with the depth, you can see it's much wider now. Um, so the next thing is you want to uh, select like the uh, extrude nerve thing and go on to caps and change it to fill it up. Uh, like so, and put the radius down to two. Because it's, it's going to be quite long because uh, it's going to take a while because it's setting this stuff. So I'm going to try and get this done quickly. Um, so fill the caps on two. Okay, and do the same for the other one. Fill, uh, fill up, uh, start and end on fill up cap, and then make it two. The radius. Um, and so now both of yours are on two. You want to uh, just close it, contract it, and then right click, uh, uh, or just hit Control C, Control V. 
that will duplicate it and on your duplicated one here I've selected the null dot one just uh, press the middle button on your mouse and that opens this put, click on this box here and uh, press the middle button again and then as you can see you can see as you can see okay so then from here that's the front view of the logo so I'm just going to move it back actually no I'm not going to do that I'm going to go into null one here and I'm going to move it like back a little bit like maybe that way a bit it's moving the blue one only moving the back I'm going to do the same click here go back and it doesn't move much Okay, so shit, I keep I keep selecting that. No one does so that yes. Okay. And then um um so you wanna choose your colours right now, so I'm gonna choose blue. Uh which is so I'm gonna choose this blue Blue shiny, blue shine or something. So I'm gonna drag on, put it on the duplicate one. So that, as you can see here, like make the that bit blue. And I'm then going to uh, I need to pick a color for that. Let me look for something like it's a good one, good one, good color. What is rated mining? Is rated block. So you select one that you like. Let's try this size to extend it. Shit can be a slide effect. Oh my days. Holy shit, so we've already done 7 minutes and we haven't even started. So I'm going to drag it on, drag it on this, and I'm going to quickly just see what that looks like. So if I hit Ctrl R, I'm going to hit Shift R instead. Shit, yeah, it's Ctrl R. So it says Ctrl R. Then I'm going to quickly render that. And yeah, that looks, right. that looks okay. So I can tell from here that looks okay from that little preview render thing. So, uh, if you want, you can choose a dark color inverse or and the light outverse, or you can have it vice versa. So, once you've done that, you want to select um, both the layers. Okay, like, shit, select one of them, like that. And then you want to go to Farsi, uh here, and then go to Farsi. I'm going to choose them on 10 pieces because, uh, you know, it's easy to control. I'm going to hit break now. Yeah, so I'm gonna break now. Shit, I'm gonna break now. Okay, I'm gonna make this bigger. Uh, fucking stars, please. It's breaking now. Um, so when it's done, I'll. Okay, so now it's done breaking, that didn't take that long, but now it's done. Um, I'm gonna just, where this crosses, I'm gonna drag it down and that makes it green tick. Um, so then, while everything is selected, you wanna go and go in more graph, effector, and then random. Like so, and I'm gonna drag all of these. Actually, I'm gonna drag the whole from null, all the way to Darcy, extreme one, blah blah blah, and drag it onto random. And then, uh okay so here to there get into that shit okay so uh wait okay so then I'm gonna I dragged it all into there now so if I go in random now and then I go on to 
uh, that's that that's you're more or less nearly done right now. So I'm gonna go on to okay. So I'm gonna right click and then so you have to select everything. I right click and I'm gonna go group objects or all G. So that makes it a big null which has everything inside. And when you're on here, go on to random and then go. Uh, then I'm gonna go and yeah point uh param deformer deformation on point parameter or I'm gonna put yeah so if you want you can put thirty 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 like in my other tutorial and you can have synchronize if you want okay so I'm not in this case but yeah so if you go down to zero and drag it up you can see it breaks like that so I'm gonna have it slightly so I might have it at like thirty five percent maybe thirty six thirty five. So if you go like over here, that's like too much, you don't even know what the heck that is. So I'm going to go down to 35, 36. So, and I'm going to speed the random, hit Control B, go to options, make that to like random 4, go down 2, and down 4, or 3, 2, and 3, 3, 2, 2, 3, 2, 3, and then go hit Shift R. Okay, so you, okay, and you are, you're using the Lightroom and check your output. So go up, go general output, the general, the save, and then check here and then do it. Uh, I'm going to just okay. So once you've done that, hit shift R and it'll render. And uh, when it's done, I'll get back to you. Okay, so yeah, um, that's basically the outcome of the logo. It's quite text. Um, I chose it in white because last time I did it in black and it doesn't uh, work out that well, especially with CC. So this is slightly different. Um, so it's white, which means I can change it in Photoshop with other shit as well. Um, so if you enjoyed this tutorial, then uh, please like, comment, and favorite. Uh, leave a suggestion as well. You know, I'm uh, constantly looking for videos, like reasons to upload, reasons to make tutorials. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it, and uh, uh, so yeah, if you have any questions or need any help, then comment, and I'll try to answer as much as I can, um, so yeah, peace.